Hey everybody, it is me again, as you can plainly see. Today is uh, Friday, uh, May 20th. I think it's day 140 on our project serving more. Technically, today is Saturday, May 21st. Uh, when I'm making this video, but this video is for the 20th. Um, so that kind of brings up a little discussion too. You know, today's the day supposedly, uh, according to uh, well, I can't even think of the old coop's name now. Uh, well, I know it as good as my own. I can't think of it, guys. Um, anyway, today's the day that the the Lord's supposed to come back. Uh, and that, that bothers me that I can't think of his name because I've said it. You know, everybody in the world has asked me this week about it, and I, I knew, you know, I know his name. I just can't think of it. Uh, by the time I click this video off, it'll hit me. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, of course, as we all know, at least all of us that read our Bibles, like the Lord tells us to do, uh, we know that no man knows that. And even though I know it doesn't specifically say that no man knows it and no man will ever know it, some people kind of want to imply that. Well, Jesus, what he meant was at that time, no man knew it. But God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he wanted the time of the coming back of the Lord, well, it's not technically. If he wanted the time of the rapture or the, the, the great gathering in the air, if he wanted that known to man, or if he didn't want it known to man at that time, then that means he doesn't want it known to man, period. And man's not going to know it. You know, Jesus Christ said himself, the angels in heaven don't know it. No man knows it. And I don't even know it. He didn't even know it while he was on the earth in his body. Now, once he ascended and went back to heaven and he was in his full power and glory, he knew it. But he couldn't even know it while he was on the earth in his human body. Harold Camping, that's the guy's name. It just hit me. I figured it'd hit me before I quit. So, anyway, the chances of, of him telling Harold Camping, I don't see it. Um, could the Lord come back today, May 21st, 2011? Yes, he could. You know, he may get it, he, he could get it right. He could get, you know, <laughs> in, you know, everybody's got a shot of guessing. Um, of course, my opinion, I think the Lord would pick, uh, uh, would not pick that day just because of the big hype around this. You know, I think the Lord would kind of say, well, <laughs> I was going to do it today, but, and I, I'm not saying I can even understand how the Lord thinks. So, uh, but anyway, what I'm saying, guys, read your Bibles. Uh, evidently this this pastor supposedly and his whole crew evidently they don't read their Bibles uh, so they're trying to predict when the Lord's coming back so he tells us you know that's, he even tells us that not only does he say no man's going to know no man knows or is going to know he tells us don't try, don't do what this man is doing this Harold Camping he, Jesus specifically tells us not to do he tells us not to set dates he tells us to be ready or when it happens, be ready. So, anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to spend on that tonight. Everybody's doing all right. Uh, I did make a vid this evening on my toolbox. I'm not uploading it yet, just for the fact that, you know, those flip videos take so long to upload. Um, I may upload it tomorrow, or to be honest, I may just make a new vid. Uh, while the sun's out and everything, I may just make a whole new vid. So, I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, uh, Let's get to the important part tonight. I've not answered comments yet either, guys, so so stay with me on that. I went back and read some. Uh, I also read your email, uh, Brother Woody, uh, talking about the guy, uh, the guy that actually started a service uh, to take care of people's pets because so many people are banking on this May 21st rapture that a lot of people are paying this guy to take care of their pets. When they go to, you know, because they're going to be going to heaven. And this guy actually advertises that I'm a non-believer, so you don't have, so I'm going to still be here. So I'll take care of, you know, he, he like an insurance deal to take care of your pets. But anyway, that was pretty funny, Mark. I did like that. 
But anyway, guys, uh, let's get to it here tonight. Luke chapter 16, starting in verse 26. Here we go. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed. Now, this was was the rich man and the wanting to wanting to you know get a drop of water from Lazarus the beggar, so that they would not pass. So they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that will come from thence. Now see that guys, this was back when, uh, this is when you had Hades or Sheol and Paradise. This is not heaven and hell. There is a difference. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Self-explanatory. He's saying, send them to my brother, so at least they won't have to come here. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto to them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, if, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. And you know, this is the truth today, guys. You know, a lot of people say atheists, and, and everybody says, oh, if, if God would just show himself, if he would just do something, we'd believe. No, you wouldn't. God shows himself every day, and they don't believe. He shows himself in a sunrise. He shows himself in babies being born. He shows himself in everything, and they still don't believe. That's not going to make any difference. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end today. I know it's not hard at 10 verses, but uh, I need to make this short. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Thanks for being here. Uh, if you need anything, as, as usual, let me know. And uh, I'm going to try to get the answer comments tomorrow, guys. Now, like I said, I've, I've, I've been reading them and I've read over them. And uh, so hopefully tomorrow I'll get the answer some of them. Uh, but anyway, guys, good Lord willing, like I said, tomorrow night, <laughs> uh, if the Lord don't come back tomorrow, which you could come back any time. Uh, so everybody, let's just try to be ready. So, uh, good Lord willing, tomorrow night I'll be back here. Until I see you guys again, good night and God bless.